Good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester giving you a quick video walk around of this 2013 on a 13 plate. Uh, originally a Volkswagen Caddy Maxi 1.6 TDI Life. Uh, Life is the passenger vehicle, so it started off as a seven seater. Uh, it is the uh, seven speed DSG auto gearbox in it as well, having covered only 43,000 miles. Uh, it has since been into Dirty Weekend of Adventure Vans over there who we share our premises with um, and it has had a camper conversion done on it to the customer's requirements um, so you have a ego nest system in the back of it uh, which gives you a double bed it gives you a double gas hob it gives you a fridge it gives you a sink with a tap and it obviously water tank uh, it has additional usb uh, ports fitted to it additional uh, map lights fitted to it in the back uh, and it has a Victron lithium battery setup fitted as a um, as an extra as well so a nice little compact um, caddy maxi camper van basically uh, we do still have the uh, rear seats both so both the uh, the rear seat system and the six and seven seat system so that will come with the vehicle as well um, the you could use it as a five seater um, because the rear bed that we have fitted to it, which is currently up, I'll show you that now. So this is the Ego Nest double bed system. This will fold back. So as you can see, it's kind of like four pieces to it. Um, this is like a, uh, a comfort uh, mattress. Um, it does fold back such as what I'm doing at the moment. It will fold all the way back to the final bit. These will move back out of the way and then that will give you a um, enough space to put your rear seats back in and then you can use it as, um, as a five seat with an ego nest in the back of it. Now, what is an ego nest? I'll be able to show you in a second when I open it. Um, ego nest, do your homework on it. Um, they are top of the line in quality. Um, and it's a pretty cool system. Now, obviously, I'm kind of glossing over a few things. So, obviously, as you can see here now, this is a rear tailgate model as well, which makes it even more desirable because you can stand underneath there whilst you're using this system here. So, this is your Ego Pod. Um, now, I'm going to need two hands for this because this hatch, this uh, clasp here, and this one over here, I need to grab those and just unhook it so it slides back as it does there so that's pretty cool now what have we got we open up this one and that gives you additional workspace we open up this one and there's your little pop down sink so that is your sink i haven't i'm not going to we've got the tap so everything all the bits for it are in are in here okay um, there is your tap and your shower spray. Okay, they would fit onto here. Uh, you have a water tank on board and then you've got water for the vehicle as well. This is your fridge, um, top opening fridge as you can see. Gas burners over here. And obviously you've got this workspace. So whilst you sat out the van, you can do all your cooking. There's your gas bottles for your cooking. Okay, now also fitted to this van is a C-strip up here. Um, and it comes with a side awning. And it also comes with a rear tailgate awning. So a Rymo rear tailgate awning and a side awning with it as well. So that massively increases your ground space. So when you are set up as so, you can also do it no matter what the weather is. Okay. Um, van itself we're going to try and get an idea of exactly what it is and what condition is like for you so this is the van as it's arrived in with us okay uh, it hasn't been valeted yet uh, we will get it valeted a little bit dusty in places at the moment that's all it is but it'll have a full valet done on it okay but seating wise as you can see the seats are in clean and tidy condition anyway All the mats and the footwells, in fact, it's even double matted, I think. So you've got Volkswagen mats and they've also bought mats to go on top of the Volkswagen mats. 
dashboard fascia, that's all pretty clean and tidy. Your entry sills are all clean and tidy. Door cards, as you can see, again, clean and tidy. You know, the van's been owned by a very nice, mature woman uh, who has looked after it very well. Entry sills and steps here, all good. Just another view inside. Uh, it also comes with all of your internal blinds, okay? So uh, when you are camped up, you can fit all your internal blinds and it gives you some privacy whilst you're in the back of the vehicle. Being a factory Caddy Maxi Life, you've got your opening side windows as well. Passenger side rear quarters, all in good order. There's a couple of very minor dent man dings I've noticed as I've gone around, which will get done on it before it goes out, but your sliding door, that's all in good order. Passenger door glass, passenger door itself. Get down low, look at those sills, those are all in good order. Tires I'm not happy with, I think we'll have to change the tires before it goes out the door. The wheels themselves, alloy wheels are all good. Just got a bit of age related cracking on the tires. In actual fact, they passed an MOT, so they're all good from that point of view. Um, but a couple of them are worse than others. Um, so um, those may well have to be sorted out before it goes out the door. Um, but alloy wheels, as you can see, those are in good condition. Got a little bit of a mark here, a little bit of a scuff here on it been touched in it's not a big deal you can't massively see it but it is there bonnet all good front of the vehicle very clean and tidy headlamp units fog light units those are all in good condition so I'm doing a quick gloss over video on this because I'm off on holiday very shortly and I uh, just wanted to get this online whilst I'm away but roof, etc. as you can see, that's all clean and tidy. Mirror units. Driver's side front wing, alloy wheels. Driver's side door. Everything is as it should be. Entry points are clean and tidy. You've got a huge amount of storage underneath this bed system as well. So we can get all this sorted out. We'll get it all valeted and cleaned up. But as you can see, you've got a load of storage underneath on the vehicle as well. And in your footwells here. Obviously it needs a valet, as I've said, but it makes for a pretty impressive little micro camper. And as I say, everything is top of the line that's been done on it. Door card, driver side's all good. Electric windows, electric heated mirrors. We have auto lights. Nice thing about it is the base vehicle is a great spec base vehicle. So specification on it is very nice. Leather steering wheel. It up obviously automatic even makes it even more desirable driver information system with your computer system on the dashboard operated from the button on the end here as well um, and horns on your center of your steering wheel the all-important air conditioning we have a stereo radio CD system here um, I don't think we have any Bluetooth. That's the only thing I would suggest, but this head unit is very easily interchangeable for say an Apple CarPlay unit. Auto gearbox. A bit of additional storage on the top there as well. Armrest, that comes out. You can move that up to there like that yeah um you know it's a forty-three thousand mile low ownership good history uh our workshops have just done a full service on it and cam belt on it this year as well um all of the work has been done by dirty weekend of adventure vans in worcester if you google them you'll get an idea of the quality of work that they push out uh google the ego nest system i think you'll be quite impressed with the quality of it So I've done some photos for now. We've done sort of 50 or 60 photos for now that I'll put up on the website very shortly. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country. We are based in the same premises as the converter that's done this van as well. So feel free to pop in if you have any questions, if you want any demonstrations, we can sort all of that out for you as well. 
um, but overall a very nice clean tidy condition a couple of dent man dings to sort out to you You've got that really minor scuff on the front bumper tires a little bit iffy on the tires i know they passed an mot but a bit of age related uh, cracking on them so i think we'll probably be changing your tires on it as well um, but overall i would say it's a pretty impressive package cool funky package if there's just the two of you and you want a little micro camper this is potentially the van for you give us a call 01905 672 080 email us sales at vanstoday.com check out our reputation on the internet we are on google linkedin facebook instagram etc etc thanks for looking at the video it's brief but it gives you an idea and we can always come back to you with some further information should you require it cheers